Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hope you've all had a great week so far or having a great week so far. So I came across these liquid lipsticks on eBay and I think I was watching, I believe it's Platinum, Platinum D on YouTube and she did these, um, she, did, she did like a mini review of these and what they are are the Keybest, Keybest, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, lip series. Um, these are their long lasting, what they call lip glosses. So they are matte lip glosses. So what I'm gonna do in this video today is swatch all 12 of them. And uh, yeah, just give you a bit of, you know, information as to what I typically think about them. One thing I will say is these are very, very affordable and I will try and put the link down below, um, you know, as to where you can pick this up from. So I'll put the link down below for the eBay link that I used. Now on eBay, these were, I believe 99p each, um, or you can get all 12 for 11 pounds, I think it was I paid. So yeah, it was very, very affordable. I decided to get all 12 because I'm excessive like that, we all know this. Um, so yeah, it was really affordable, you know, 11 pounds, not bad. I do actually really, really like these. Um, they are a matte finish, so they're matte, they last all day, um, but they're not, you know, the matte finish that dries up your lips completely or they're, you know, too uncomfortable on your lips. I find these to be very, very comfortable on my lips when I'm wearing them. Now, like I said, they are liquid lipstick, so as comfortable as a liquid lipstick can get. So it's not gonna feel like a creamy lipstick formula. Um, they last for a very long time on my lips. The only time that I, um, saw transfer was when I was eating food in terms of um, eating something oily or when I was drinking a drink I did see some transfer but again that's typical of a liquid lipstick one thing I will say is um, if you are wearing these with any liquid lipstick that dries matte um, I would suggest that you exfoliate your lips um, well now they come in this plastic packaging like so and it just says Cubest on it it is a plastic packaging, so, you know, it's not gonna look the best, if that makes sense. Um, but like I said, this is 99p, so what are you really getting for it, you know? And it comes with a um, wand applicator, as you can see there. Now, the wand itself isn't very long, you know, like a typical liquid lipstick wand, um, so it's not too long, but to me, it's simple, it's easy to apply. I don't tend to top up with this anyway, um, so that's not really an issue for me, but you know, if you want to top up, I I haven't attempted to top up with this, to be honest with you, um, but I personally wouldn't top up with this because it is matte and, you know, topping up over matte, lips, you know, liquid lipsticks isn't the best, you know, um, so I personally wouldn't top up. But yeah, that's what it comes with in terms of the applicator. Um, I don't really smell anything with this, to be honest with you. I mean, it just smells like plastic, like there's no strong identifiable scent from it, to be honest with you. So yeah, it comes in a whole range of shades and I'm gonna swatch all 12 of the range um, that I've got. So if you wanna see my swatches of each of these lippies, then just keep watching. So this first shade of my lips is number 18, and this is a kind of mauvey pink kind of a color. It's really, really pretty actually. It's like a dusty pink color, very wearable. Um, I think it would suit, you know, all skin tones. Um, what I did do, by the way, is when I applied this, I only put one coat on the bottom of my lips and then I just blended it in together. Otherwise it would just look too garish like this. So yeah, that's how I applied this particular one. Okay, so the <laughs> this next shade of my lips, oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so this next shade of my lips, oh my gosh, look how crazy it looks. <laughs> we can only laugh, right? Like guys, come on, don't take this too seriously. Um, but this next shade of my lips is actually terrible. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it is so bad. I do not like this shade at all. Um, this is number 14 and it's like a very neon peach color. It is actually really, really, really disturbing. And I can't take myself seriously when I'm wearing this, so. Okay, so this next shade on my lips is number 15. And again, number 15 is a seriously, seriously bright shade. 
no it's no it's not going to work is it guys so yeah these two shades guys let me just put this out there these two shades are definitely the worst shades of the bunch it all gets better as we go on okay so this next shade on my lips is shade number shade number six and this is a really pretty um pink color it's kind of like a barbie pink really really nice color um i have swatched it there as well so you can kind of see i think it's it's you know it's a bright enough pink that's wearable if that makes sense um so yeah it's a really pretty color i think a lot of people can get away with wearing this color um one thing that you probably can't tell from the swatch is that this one does have like a few shimmer shades in it like a few shimmer particles in it it's not that noticeable when you're wearing it to be honest with you um i personally didn't build up the color um for this like i said this is just one swatch on my mouth on my lips now just press my lips together but it's definitely buildable it's really really nice shade so yeah okay so this next shade in my lips is number 36 and this shade is a deep pink color it is beautiful beautiful pink color really really like it um i think i mentioned that the previous shade had shimmer particles in it this one also actually has shimmer particles in it which i've just noticed um but again you can't really tell on your lips um you know that it has the particles in it um but it is a really 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 pretty deep pink color i love this color actually really love it these dry incredibly fast on your lips like nothing nothing on my lips feel amazing you know i just put one coat on and it just feels like my lips basically very light on your lips so yeah i just really like these okay so this next shade on my lips is number 25 and number 25 is a pink verging on purple shade um it is really it's again a really pretty shade um again a wearable shade um i don't think it's too bright but that's it swatched on my hand right there so really really gorgeous gorgeous shade and i've just swatched it heads white so shiny but it will dry down very quickly okay so this next shade on my lips is shade number three and shade number three is a bright purple shade i like this shade i do like this shade i think if you are one that loves your purples definitely pick this one up if you're not a purple liquid lipstick or purple lipstick kind of girl or boy then yeah stay away from this because this is quite a bright purple but i think it's beautiful like if you know me in terms of you know watch my previous videos you know that i really 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 love purple liquid lipsticks and purple lipsticks so yeah definitely my type of shade okay so this next purple on my lips is shade number nine and shade number nine is more of a cool tone purple that's how i would describe it it's it's more of the cooler tone version of the purple lipsticks that um you know that i've just swatched so yeah it's again quite nice still quite a bright purple i mean to be honest you can't really tell that much of a difference between them but all i would say is that this one is a cooler tone I like both of them to be honest with you it just depends on your taste and if you actually like or care for purples but yeah i think it's really nice and that's just it swatch what i'll do is just swatch um the number three for you which is the purple i just swatched so i'll swatch it here so can you see number three so can you see how number nine which is on my lips right now is more of a cooler tone and number three is definitely more vibrant more warm in tone so yeah that's all i would say is the difference between them okay so this next shade on my lips is number 22 and number 22 is more of a brownish red purple kind of a shade it is really really pretty definitely one i think that you know anyone can wear it's so wearable it's really nice i think i wore this this to work one day and someone really commented on my lipstick and they actually you know asked me to tell them like where i got this lipstick from because they couldn't you know they they thought it just looks so nice and i agree definitely one of my favorites out of the bunch um 
if you can tell, I like the deeper shades are definitely my favorite. The two lighter shades, not so, in terms of the um, peach and bright pink color, definitely not my favorites. But these deeper ones, these are all my favorite shades. So yeah, really, really loving this lip. Okay, so this next shade on my lips is number 33. And this is a reddish brown color. Um, definitely a red I think I could easily wear to work and I have worn it to work it's not too bright it's not too vibrant it definitely is you know a wearable red um, I really really like it and again this would suit any skin tone this is perfect for um, the autumn time now it is a beautiful shade um, and as I said it's number 33 so there it is Okay, so this next shade on my lips is number 32. And number 32 is an orangey red color. Um, if you are, you know, into the orangey red shades, and this definitely is for you, I really, really, really like this color. I think it just looks, it just looks gorgeous. I, I actually really like it. Um, I have worn this one as well to work. And again, I've got compliments from it. I think it's, it's quite a wearable orange red. It's not you know too vibrant and too bright that you can't that you can't actually you, you know wear it um to work or anywhere i think it is definitely a wearable color um and that's it swatch there it's i just think it looks really really pretty so yeah number 32 okay and this last shade on my lips thank you thank you is number 28 and number 28 is a true red shade although on camera it is looking orangey red I guess it does have an orange tone to it um, but it is a true it's more of the truer red shade um, than the previous one but again I really like this shade so yeah okay guys so finally I've finished all the lip swatches hopefully that was useful for you um, like I said you can buy these on eBay um, I'll put the link down below for you to be able to get them um, one thing um, I may not have mentioned before is how to remove them again you just need to remove them using a, um, a oil based remover um, I've just to do my lip swatches I've been using my cellar water and um, the two shades I would definitely not recommend that you pick up are these two which obviously we saw me wear and I look like a clown yes I know whatever <laughs> but I did look like a clown let's be real um, wearing these so I definitely wouldn't recommend these I don't know who these would suit personally but yeah I'm not gonna get rid of them though because one thing I do know is that what you could do with these lighter lipsticks um, is use them mix them in with really darker like darker lipsticks to create an ombre effect so I'm gonna try that out with these and uh, see how I get along because I'm not gonna chuck them out but I just can't wear them on their own um, my favorite ones definitely have to be um, this one which is shade number 22 which was like the mauvey brown kind of shade um, you know the the reddish brown shade which I really really like um, and I like the reds as well like the one I'm wearing and um, the other one I previously swatched and um, I really like shade number 33 which again is like the brownie shade so you can see the darker shades I really like um, of the purple shades I do really like um, is shade number 25 um, of the purple shades really really like this one here and um, of the pink shades I'm a fan of shade number 36 which is um, like that you know deep pink shade really really like that and the nude shade which is shade number 18 is definitely a really really nice nude lipstick so yeah if that's your kind of go to then definitely try this and pick it up but that is it for me guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video take care see you soon bye ciao you get 30 mils of foundation 